It is now like a week later from the last time that we spoke, but I had a video, I've seen a lot of you guys were commenting, where'd you go? Well, we, it has been about 11 days since we posted a video, so I had a video ready to go last week about this time, and all of the footage, well half of the footage was um, corrupt, so it wouldn't upload. Got my truck all cleaned up, I think that I'll be able to still post, we got it all cleaned up. Got some new wheels on her. So these are a KG1 forged. Uh, I don't know what model they are, <laughs> so you have to po apologize on that. But they're a 33, 12, they're 22 by 12, 8 by 6 and a half, obviously. And it's a 33, 12, 50, 22 Venom Terra Hunter. And I had these same tires on my white uh, 24 valve that we had a while ago, guys, the second gen six speed. And I do like these tires a lot. I was able to pick these up used, and I think I got a pretty good deal on them. The gentleman I got them from was just going with a different tire, he didn't want to run these. So I love these the way they look on here. They're still practical enough. I can tow on them. I can tor uh, turn full lock and it will not rub anywhere on the truck. And they have a little bit of stance. It looks good coming down the road. So I just want to show you guys those. Coming down the road looks pretty mean. And obviously, as you guys can see, we got this thing all cleaned up finally. I had to drive it in some of this salt, but we got it all detailed up, looking flossy. So without further ado, let's talk about some of these parts we have over here for Truckmaster's P-Pump 24 valve. So I got the head all put back on Josh's truck and got it running. Um, we haven't even filled up with coolant yet because I've noticed that we're getting a lot of smoke out of the turbochargers. I think the lower drain on the big charger is not, it's just not gonna work. It's a dash 10 and it's only like seven inches long and it's at a really sharp angle to where it almost kinks the hose and it's not draining well. So we're getting, it's leaking through the seals. So I'm gonna have to pull the turbochargers off. Again, the compounds, clean both of them really good and then we will basically i'm gonna i'm gonna try and i and not only that but i also have a leak at the hot pipe coming off of the small charger to the big charger so i'm gonna have to take them apart regardless i tried a new clamp and it still just won't seal so i'm gonna pull it all off try to maybe sand those flanges down maybe they were warped a little bit when the, the pipes were welded i'm gonna try and get those flat get that stop leaking put it all back together and when i put it back together this time i'm going to use the this seven eighths uh, hose for a drain and then this little piece right here I got from Fleet Performance. So guys, the dash 10 on these S400s, I mean, sometimes you can get lucky and it'll work. I got lucky on my last compound setup that I made custom and it worked, but it was also a side-by-side -side kit and it was way up high. So I was able to get by with the dash 10, but we are gonna be running a seven eighths hose on this one. So I got this from Fleet Performance. This will bolt to the S400. And then this is a big 7 8 hose. And I thought I was good, but this is actually a freaking 5 8 I thought this was 7 8 so I'm gonna have to order one of those tonight. So we can go, yeah, that needs to be 7 8 inlet too. Wow, that sucks. So I gotta order that. Also ordered some M8 150 millimeter bolts, M8 125, 150s for his intake horn. Um, the intake horn was, it's custom made for the P-Pump 24 valve lines. So it takes some really long bolts, uh, M8, 125, 150 millimeter. I promise you guys, you're probably not gonna find them at a hardware store or a Rule King, so we had to get those ordered online as well. So we got a boost reference line to go to the AFC housing so we can uh, start getting this thing tuned properly. That way it's not just a smoke show and it's actually running efficient. And then we're gonna hook the uh, shut off solenoid back up correctly. So guys, uh, I did, like I said, I got most of this stuff on video and also working on the truck a little bit, but unfortunately the footage was corrupt. And then I had to go on vacation. Uh, we left Wednesday and went to Las Vegas. Me and my girlfriend and some friends, we all went to Vegas. My brother went as well, and we had an absolute blast. Really good time. Uh, definitely a very expensive place to go. Eating, like everything about Vegas is super expensive, but it was a good time, and I think we'll definitely go back maybe in a year or two. Um, but that's where we were, guys. It was in Las Vegas, so that's why there's this 11-day gap. I had correct footage and then we were on vacation. But we are back now, guys, and we're gonna be getting back into the grind. But uh, we do have that dually I need to pull in in front of Josh's truck and get this fuel pump issue figured out on it. So we'll be pulling that thing in probably tomorrow night and starting doing some serious diag on that thing, figure out what it needs. And yeah, so without further ado, guys, I know this was a short little random video, not really a lot happened, but just wanna give you guys an update what's going on. Appreciate you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.